NDSU researchers Kosef Kollenbach and Bonikov are getting their project called Clean the Clock Up, lined up to present their research for the Innovation Challenge at NDSU. We've been working with uh, what's called supercritical carbon dioxide extraction and corn. And so our project kind of just came through trial and error and we discovered that inside of corn there are things called uh, carotenoids. Boni believes it might have a great impact on the corn market. The impact of our project, it could um, open up a market for corn gluten meal um, and also uh, could be a good thing for the wet millers to have at their plant um, if they want to increase revenue of their corn gluten meal product. The wet milling facility at Wapiton gave them the corn gluten sample for the research purpose. The corn gluten meal has a yellow color and can be used as a food color. She says it will help the growing corn industry. For corn processors co-products, then we can in turn um, create more value for corn um, because corn is becoming a pretty big industry in North Dakota. Um, so I guess that's where we saw the value, especially because the extract that we're going to be creating is um, is valuable now and uh, it grows in value year by year. So we increase they use CO2, we which is safe and completely and removes the solvent point, from the sample because solvent is not good for food purpose. They are trying to get more of the color output by using different methods. Our proposal is to use an enzyme to break down those proteins and it releases the colors and, and in doing so that we can uh, extract more color more carotenoids and more value out of this project. Use of CO2 might make North Dakota and rest of the world a better and a safer place in regards to making food color. With photographer Annie Pearson, Temur Sati, Campus News.